Suppose you want to create this surface from a single piece of wire mesh, a freeform surface composed of woven wires arranged in a regular grid. An area of wire mesh, when moved or stressed, will affect all other areas of the mesh as well. What is required is a visualization of a two-dimensional space to three and a calculation of manipulations in an order that brings the final form to fruition. Artists currently use an incremental approach where an initially flat piece of wire mesh is bent by hand to conform to a desired surface. While physical exploration helps build intuition, rationalizing a surface entails numerous constraints that are often globally coupled. We tackle this problem with an interactive design tool where the user can specify boundary conditions. However, if we try to force the mesh to exactly fit the surface, excessive shearing prevents us from covering the entire domain. Instead, we start with a coarse mesh that only approximates the surface. We then optimize and subdivide, ultimately covering more of the domain. Even in the final mesh, however, features like the nose and eyes are not well captured. The user can emphasize these features by painting importance values onto the surface. After a final run of optimization, these features are more accurately resolved. Here's the final wire mesh after a 10 minute design session. Material can be added to an initial guess by drawing a curve on the surface, creating a parallel extension of the mesh. Weights in the optimization guide this extension back onto the surface. During the design process, we want to ensure that the wire mesh can always be built out of a single patch. The system alerts the user when this constraint is violated, and artistic choices can be made to remove the offending material. Here we show the complete design process for a male torso. Our tool allows for the creation of cylindrical shapes, which are difficult to design by hand. The user first makes an initial guess and checks that there are no overlapping regions. To capture the legs, she then extends the mesh using parallel surfaces and other local editing operations. Once the basic shape has been created, the artist applies several passes of subdivision and optimization. These steps are essential for capturing fine details on the surface. Here we see the final result. From the final design, we can generate a 2D layout that can be printed, cut, and attached to a support structure. After leaving the mesh in place overnight, the supports can be removed to get the final fabricated model. Here we show a variety of results produced by our method. 